everyone, and welcome to Biopedia. This week, we're going to tackle a genetics law first formulated in the 19th century, and which has been the subject of argument, controversy, and refinement in the decades since then, Dollo's Law. In its original form, this law, first created by the historian Edgar Quinet, and then proposed by the French-Belgian biologist Louis Dollo in 1893, stated that evolution was completely irreversible. What this means that is, if a structural trait had appeared once in an organism, it would never appear again if it were lost. Louis Dolo declared that it was just simply too unlikely that evolution would be able to perfectly undo itself and restore a trait that had been lost. Since Dolo's own day, this idea has been subject to refinement. A famous example of an organism clearly being able to retrace its steps is the peppered moth. Before 1848, the moth species Biston betularia was pale in colour, as it lived on trees which matched its hue. However, as the Industrial Revolution progressed in England and soot began to cover the trees on which it lived, any pale moths were easy prey, meaning the dominant colour rapidly shifted to a darker form which had first been noticed in Manchester in 1848. By 1898, just half a century after it was first noticed, the darker moth outnumbered the paler version by 99 to 1. The reversal came once the effort to decrease air pollution in England began, which meant that trees became lighter again. Now, it was the darker moths that stood out like a sore thumb meaning that in the late 20th century, the moth again changed its overall colour to pale. A similar example comes from oceanic gastropods with coiled shells. If you subscribe to Dollo's original theory, once the shell uncoils itself, it can never return to its original form. However, when biologists constructed a phylogenetic tree using three genes in 94 species of gastropod, they found that gastropod shells had gone back to a coiled form from uncoiled at least twice. In fact, fossil evidence suggests that these shells remained uncoiled for about at least 100 million years before going back to their uncoiled form. Clearly, the absolute statement that evolution cannot retrace its steps under any circumstances doesn't quite fit. The answer may lie in the genomes of the organisms, Genes which originally coded for a trait which is lost can stick around in the genome, provided they still retain some sort of function. These gastropods develop two different shells in their life cycle, one as larvae and one as adults. Gastropods which lost their adult coiled shells may well still have had larval coiled shells, meaning that the coiled shell genes were still being used in the genome. In evolutionary lineages which then regained the adult version, these genes were simply called back into action. As far as I can make out, the modern version of Dollo's law is more of a generalisation about probabilities. Biologists such as Richard Dawkins now state that it is extremely unlikely that the exact same path to that trait will be followed twice. It has also been suggested that the irreversibility might still hold up with broader themes such as body plans. Even if Dollo's original law no longer applies, the uncertainty and controversy surrounding it and its refinement is an interesting example of how changeable science really can be based on the evidence available at the time. As always, thank you for listening. We can be contacted at biopediapodcast at gmail.com for any questions, comments or topic suggestions. Until next time, have a great week everyone.